Yo, what's up, dorks? Welcome back to yet another educational English video. I am your new dad, and today we're learning to talk like NPCs from the Elder Scrolls video game franchise. This idea comes from user Drrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
when he was finished talking. The other man responded with, good day. Both of those phrases are ways to say goodbye in English. First, the phrase so long is actually a shortened version of saying, it won't be so long before we meet again, making it much shorter to say so long. The phrase has been used informally to say goodbye for a very long time. It's mostly used between friends or loved ones and not in a formal setting. Good day is another way to say goodbye, and it's basically just wishing the person you are saying bye to, to have a good day. Oh yes, it is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now you will die. Here, the madman Cicero tells us that we are foolish for sparing him. When you spare someone, you prevent them from being killed, or you let them live. You can also hear someone asking to be spared, or having their life spared. Spare me my life. Spare me my life. It just means to let someone live. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> oh, listener, you should see the look on your face! <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned! Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure mother needs... Tending. <laughs> in the following part of the clip, Cicero says, Gotcha, to let you know he doesn't actually want to kill you. When you say gotcha, it lets the person know that you are making a joke or tricking them. Gotcha is a shortened version of the phrase, I got you, gotcha. Lastly, at the end of this clip, Cicero says he needs to tend to mother. When you tend to something, you are looking after it or taking care of it. So he basically is just saying he needs to look after or take care of mother. How are you? Been better. How about you? Not bad. I heard that the Kavach guard is driving back the Daedra. Maybe there's hope after all. Fantastic. Good to hear. Good day. Goodbye. In this very odd clip full of words that start with good, one interesting thing that was said was that the Kavach guard was driving back the Daedra. When something is driven back or being drived back, it means the same as pushed back. As the Daedra are getting closer to the city, the guard is pushing them back to where they came from, a la driving them back to where they came from. Extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Skrellid. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Skrellid the kind, who doesn't seem very kind, refers to the children as riffraff, as she tells them that no one wants to adopt them. Riffraff is a bit of a funny word that's used to refer to people that are worthless and bad. They are the lowest people in society, and they don't really do anything good for anyone, but they also cause a lot of problems. It's not necessarily a bad word to say, but it's very unkind to refer to someone as riffraff. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here, until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, girl. Thank, Thank you for your, you kindness. For your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Ah! It's Grillin. Oh. Someone has killed Grillin. I cannot <laughs> best you. Grillin is dead. Aventus did it. <laughs> Hooray! Leave Grillin here. the kind Leave is dead alone. at last. We're safe. Yay! There's really nothing to learn in the rest of this clip. I just wanted to share that she died, and she deserved to die. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to do. Let's... Quintus Nivali 
in Windhaven. He said it was urgent. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Someone do I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen that way. This game is full of a bunch of like really goofy bugs, but one of the really good words the courier said, and a courier is someone who delivers letters and packages, he said the word urgent. When something is urgent, it needs to be done right away. If you have an urgent problem, you have to fix it right now. It absolutely cannot wait. I'm here to relieve you. It's about time. I'm your relief. My feet are killing me. This guard just can't wait to finish his work for the day. Anyways, let's look at what he said about his feet. He mentioned that his feet were killing him. When something is killing you, that doesn't mean that you're actually dying or in any real danger. It just means that you are in pain. When you stand up on your feet for a long time, your feet might hurt a little bit. You can say, my feet are killing me. Or, if you sit down in a chair, like me, all day, you might say that your back is killing you. That just means that you feel pain in that area. All right, all right, all right. So you've just learned a bunch of new words and phrases, or you've seen a bunch of new words and phrases. So what we're gonna do is put your new knowledge to the test by taking a short quiz. Make sure you let me know how you did in the comment section down below. All right, that's it for today's video. As always, let me know how you did in the comment section down below. And uh, I really hope you learned something new. I really, really hope you learned something. Like always, if there's something you would like to see on this channel, let me know because I will do that for you. I pretty much do every request that's ever made except for like maybe one or two really weird requests. As always, if you liked what you saw, please smash that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell for notifications, that way you can stay up to date with all of the content we have going on here on this channel. I try to make videos two times a week, sometimes it's only one, but usually it's about two times a week. So I am going to help you personally improve your English and get better and better and better until you speak English better than me. And if you want, join our Discord because we have a lot of great stuff going on over there. We share memes, we joke, we laugh, we talk to each other, sometimes we play video games together, and it's an entirely free place to just practice your English and talk to other people who are improving their English. Now stick around for some affirmation. As always, now for a bit of quick affirmation. I'd just like to tell you how proud of you I am, how amazing it is that you're going out of your way, using your free time to improve a skill that you care about improving. You're getting better every single day, and no one can take that away from you. So I'm proud of you, I love you, and I'll see you next time.